most dynamic person in my department. <laughs> Dr. Deep Dhanan Banerjee. He always helped me a lot. Without his help, it's not possible to organize such type of occasion. It's very difficult. So, I convey all the faculty for giving their lecture, but uh, all the faculties is not possible to deliver lecture. Only myself, the, Dr. Debla Ganji, and tomorrow, Dr. Nilanjana Banerjee. So, I introduce a little bit Dr. Debdual Banerjee. Dr. Debdual Banerjee joined with the University, MSc, with special paper microbiology in 2000. PhD Microbial Biotechnology in Vidyasagar University. Postdoc Montek State University as Bioscat Fellow, USA. Bioscat. Visited Japan, Germany, Korea, Italy, UAE, USA in different conferences. Now, working on microbial endophytes, completed three major research project of UGC and Government of West Bengal. I congratulate Dr. Dibdwal Banerjee and I would like to request Dibdwal Banerjee to say something about his work. Thank you. And I am actually isolating uh, endophytes. So these are the medicinal plant endophytes. They are the potential source of different types of natural products. Uh, next slide, please. So, what are medicinal plants? Uh, from uh, uh, today morning, uh, several uh, research persons they have discussed what are medicinal plants. But uh, plants that have the ability to synthesize a wide variety of chemical compounds that are used to perform important biological function and to defend against different predators like insect, fungus, or herbivore ma mammals. All will be the medicinal plant. And nowadays, uh, different chemical components in plants that mediate their effect on the human body through processes uh, identical to those already well understood for chemical components in conventional works. So, uh, this uh, actually uh, accelerates the use of different herbal medicines uh, nowadays. Next, next please. And uh, what are endophytes? Actually, endophytes are the microorganisms that remains within the plant symptomlessly. So just like our E. coli, which remains in our intestinal tract naturally, they are not causing any disease. In case of uh, plants also, there are several microbes and almost all plants, they harbor such type of microbes. And sometimes it has been found that some of the plants, they produce some chemicals which actually discover from plants but they are not the product of that plant, they are actually produced by the microorganisms. So, different medicinal plants sometimes actually harbor some uh, specific uh, microbe, maybe fungus, maybe actinomycetes, maybe bacteria, but they are producing those specific components. Uh, next please. Uh, what is the uh, criteria to select medicinal plant to be uh, get a uh, an endophyte that has bioactive potential. So actually we uh, select uh, those plants from distinct, env uh, distinct environmental setting and with unconventional biology. Suppose a plant is growing in a highly humid area or maybe in a desert area, still they are surviving. That means they may have certain specific component, maybe uh, that those components are produced by that plant or maybe some endophytes they are contributing in their survival uh, on that particular uh, environment. Or plants with ethnobotanical history are also considered for endophyte isolation. And some plants that generate bioactive natural products that in that case also the associated endophytes that may produce those type of natural products. Uh, next please. Uh, till date different types of components have been isolated from endophytes. Uh, they produce antibiotics, antiviral component, 
and another newer technique is uh, uh, newer uh, uh, concept is there that is the volatile antibiotics uh, I am working with uh, Bishwan particularly I will uh, discuss in the uh, next slides uh, uh, previous one please and they produce anti cancer agents I will discuss on uh, this also they are producing antioxidants they are producing insecticidal component they are producing anti diabetic component they are producing immunosuppressive component so different types of components are produced by uh, such type of endophytic microorganisms next next one please so uh, for example if we consider antimicrobials there are a lot of different antimicrobial components like alkaloids peptides sterols difference are produced like in case of jingo jingo biloba from this one uh, fungus was isolated ketomium globosum that produces keto globosin a and c these are uh, these components having a broad spectrum anti -micro uh, 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 antimicrobial activities uh, from uh, garcinia dalsis from this plant one uh, fungus was isolated phomopsis that produces this antimicrobial components in case of uh, texas bacata from this plant acrimonium was isolated that is effective against pythium one of the plant pathogens then uh, another uh, uh, lilacs uh, karna karnata this plant trichoderma a different species of trichoderma was isolated that produces uh, some uh, antifungal component that is trichodermine so these are already uh, reported by uh, uh, previous workers next next please so uh, those are the components next so in my laboratory i am trying to work with uh, these components actually i have isolated uh, actually three four fungal strains which are producing these volatile antimicrobials actually uh, after doing my uh, uh, phd work when i went there in the usa uh, actually my uh, guide professor gary strobel he uh, he actually started working with endophytes about uh, 20 years ago and what he had found that one fungal strain uh, he have isolated from uh, some plant samples from uh, uh, the northern America, from Brazilian belt, and he found that that fungal strain, when kept with all our fungal strains in a uh, box, after two three days, all fungal strains were died, excepting one. So what happens? So uh, again he repeated that uh, the same procedure, and he found that again, excepting one, all other fungal strains were inhibited or died. So then he uh, discovered one fungus, one sterile fungus, and he named that one as muscode or albus. And that uh, on that muscode or albus, he had uh, at least six different patents. And when I went there in his laboratory, he told me that they would please start working with muscode or albus. And if you get a muscode or albus strain in USA, then regulatory authority in USA will permit me to apply this muscodor in agricultural field also that in case of biofumigation we can apply this one because i have taken that fungal strain from brazilian rainforest so it's not possible to apply this one here so i have started working there and i have taken one uh, 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 i have taken different uh, uh, plant samples from different areas of usa and i have taken one uh, fortunately i have got one gingo biloba it was about 120 years old gingo biloba plant and from there I have uh, isolated one uh, muscodor alba strain uh, and uh, uh, it was reported there and after when I was coming back to India Professor Strobel told me they will uh, try to isolate a muscodor strain in your country because there is no report from your country the different samples actually uh, one sample was from Asia one sample was uh, from Malaysia um, in Malaysia there is a huge rainforest from Malaysia also they have reported but in India there was no uh, muscular strain so we have taken samples from our rainforest in northeast India we went to uh, Meghalaya uh, and we have collected several times uh, such type of plants and fortunately we have found this piper, piper species from Mulolam area that uh, Meghalaya which produces this uh, muscodor uh, another uh, species actually it was not confirmed that this is muscodor strain so we have taken a, uh, a protocol by which we have isolated a strain uh, that, that, was, that was showing antimicrobial or uh, that volatile antimicrobial components and after that we did its uh, genetic analysis and we have confirmed that it's a muscodor strain 
So, this mascodostrin it is a uh, uh, sterile uh, uh, fungus, it never produces any reproductive structure. So, next, next please. So, we did this uh, phylogenetic analysis and we have found that it has almost some relationship with the previous isolates of different mascotor species. Next please. And surprisingly, this mascotor species produces different types of volatile components. Actually, they contribute uh, for the inhibition of uh, those uh, other fungal or bacteria strains. And unlike other mascotor species, here it produces about 71% of ethanol as volatile component and these acetic acid, ethyl ester and propionic acid esters, all those components, these are the antimicrobials as well as volatiles. So, they inhibit different types of fungal strains. Next please. This is the gas test. If you make a channel on the petri dish and if you grow this mascotor species in one half and if you keep your mascotors there, no diffusible compound will go through there. But if you uh, keep that petri dish in a uh, room for two days, no, if there is no growth, that means some volatile components may be uh, inhibiting that uh, uh, the pathogen. Next, please. We have found that several plant pathogens are inhibited by this fungal strain, excepting this Fusarium, Trichoderma, and Aspergillus. They are uh, not killed, but they are inhibited. 100% inhibition was found with Aspergillus, and in case of Trichoderma, only 10% inhibition was there. Next. And we have published this one in uh, this journal. Next. Another uh, 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 one of my PhD students is here. He is working with uh, this uh, um, uh, fungus. We have isolated this fungus from another plant, Camellia caduca. We have collected this from uh, the rainforest of uh, Meghalaya. Uh, it is also a sterile fungus. Uh, it produces sterile mycelium. It also inhibits different types of plant pathogen. But next please. But interesting feature is that other than those components produced by mascotor species, this produces these two components, linalol and linalol oxide. These are actually oleochemicals. In different types of saline fragrances, we generally use these linalol and uh, linalol oxides. So, we, simultaneously we can use this as a room prisoner. We can control microbes, again we can uh, uh, get a good smell from uh, that also. Next please. And we did this test, whether this fung if we keep this fungus within a container, in a box for food storage, is it possible so that the uh, pathogen which actually spoils those, uh, not pathogens, but those, uh, those uh, saprophytes which spoils those foods, is it possible to inhibit those uh, organisms? Yes, it was found that after six days, such type of broadening here uh, occurred in control, but, but when we, we have kept that fungus with uh, actually with uh, uh, wheat grains, uh, the fungus grows here and we have found that no inhibition, uh, 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 in terms of control, the inhibition was uh, not uh, like that. And that fungus, uh, Daldinia, it inhibits almost different types of plant pathogens. Next one, please. We have published uh, this one also. Uh, we have isolated some uh, stemphylium species from Phytex nigando and other uh, endophyte that produces exopolysaccharide. Next, next. Uh, that exopolysaccharide having some unique features that say, uh, actually, they, uh, that say, uh, gl uh, glucomannan type of exopolysaccharide. We know that glucomannan, they have some biological activity. I am not uh, discussing in detail. Next, next, next. Uh, we have published this one. Next. We have isolated another uh, fungus, Fusarium solani. Actually, this was isolated from Kalmeg. Uh, and this fungus, next, next, please. This fungus also produces a uh, heteropolysaccharide. Uh, next, uh, next, please. Uh, we have confirmed the structure of that heteropolysaccharide. Next, next. And we have found that unlike other type of polysaccharides which are uh, somewhat linear, uh, round or circular, just like starch, these are round structure, round separate, but this polysaccharide, it, it shows some microfibril like structure, under uh, tame, uh, uh, under tame they are showing such type of fibrillar structure, that means uh, actually when uh, a polysaccharide becomes fibrillar, that means uh, it can be absorbed in our intestine easily, so it is, it shows uh, some biological activities, uh, we have tested all these biological activities, skip, skip all these things. 
this is antioxidant properties we have found with that ex, uh, exopolysaccharide next one uh, we have failed the, that exopolysaccharide to uh, mice and we have found that intestinal flora of that mice was also uh, changed uh, and, and the good change was found most of the pathogens were inhibited but lactobacillus number of lacto lactobacillus was increasing next next we have published this one next another uh, fungus pestalotiopsis was isolated next another fungus hylopus from astonia scholaris was isolated that uh, produces a unique uh, sporangia structure uh, with a uh, 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 actually spores are produced from a stalk in a uh, round fashion uh, it's a unique feature of this fungus next next please that produces a specific enzyme tannage uh, which showed uh, next next which showed almost uh, optimized neutral pH unlike other tannages which are reported earlier they uh, have actually optimum at 5 to 5.5 but here it has been found at 7 so when uh, actually uh, these endophytes remains within the plant they adapt themselves so that their enzyme also changed in such a way that their optimum uh, that be, uh, becomes about 6.5 to 7 next next please we have published this one next and these are different endophytes we have isolated from Astonia scholaris we have tested next next tested their antimicrobial potentials with different uh, human pathogens and we have found good result we have published this one next and another interesting uh, work we have start, uh, started uh, started with uh, actinomycetes we have isolated uh, one actinomycetes from cinnamon and pamela that's a streptomyces rochi species we did its uh, dna sequencing and we have found that next next that's uh, that chemical component is a ankinomycin component we did nmr and uh, all other things and we have found different types of plant uh, uh, human pathogens are actually inhibited by this fun that fungal strain next another uh, actinomycetes was isolated that's uh, from catharanthus rogias it's a endophyte streptomyces thermoviolosius and this one Inter uh, interesting feature is that this one is active against different types of drug resistant bacteria so uh, uh, actually th this is methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus nowadays it's a problem that we if you treat uh, staphylococcus aureus with different natural antibiotics it's not inhibited but this gravicinic acid it inhibits the, this uh, methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus so uh, it's a, 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 another interesting uh, microorganism. Next. So uh, these are the references. Next. And I must acknowledge UGC and Professor Gary Strobel and all my uh, research students who did this work. Thank you all.